Hey everyone! Today I'd like to take you on a tour of the setup menu for the 2016 DNX series of receivers. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing that we'll want to do is access the setup menu itself. So on a 6.2 inch model you can press the volume knob to access the setup. Or on the larger screen models you can simply press the nine boxes in the lower left hand corner and select the settings icon. So now that we're in the setup menu, the AV selection will allow you to select your audio video out, AV in, or whatever else it may be, automotive mirroring to turn your mirroring on your smartphone display. So it would be either Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or the use of the HDMI input. By turning this off, that will also allow you to change your app and iPod setup menu. The app and iPod setup menu will let you select what type of phone connection you're using. The OEM setup menu would be for your ADS Maestro RR. Being able to change vehicle information, adjust the climate, Whatever functions the vehicle itself has, this is where you would change and adjust those settings for the Maestro. The next icon will be Display. The Dimmer icon will give you some options. Turning the dimmer off or on manually. Selecting Sync. Sync will simply let your dimmer turn on and off when hooked up to the dimmer wire, so to go right in line with your headlights on and off, or nav sync will simply synchronize with the navigation system. On-screen display of clock, so if you have a DVD playing and you want the clock information to be displayed, you can simply turn that on. The panel color will be these side panels, or the little lights around the exterior of the screen that light up. Those can change to whatever color you'd like them to be, or you can Customize them specifically to match the interior or a color of your choice exactly. The background would be exactly the background of the screen itself. You can either select one of the preset images or you can go ahead and insert your own image. The next selection will be the user interface itself. In the user interface, if you'd like the buttons to beep, icons to beep when you do make selections. You can turn the beep function on and off. Parking assist display and parking assist position. This will again be used in conjunction with the Maestro RR if it displays those functions. You can select a specific language. You can calibrate the touch screen itself. The clock allows you to set it manually or to synchronize it with the GPS, so the nav sync. The next section will be the camera icon. Camera will allow you to adjust your rear camera and your front camera information. Our cam interruption will simply turn the reverse camera on when going into reverse. Parking guidelines, turning the lines themselves on or off. The guideline setting will allow you to fine tune and adjust exactly what you'd like to adjust. So just simply make a selection of what you'd like to adjust. Arrow up, arrow down, and again fine tune that selection. Initialize, we'll just turn it back to its initial state. Front camera, if you have a front camera, the units do have a dedicated front camera and rear camera input. You can simply turn that on and off. And a great new feature this year allows you to mirror the image. So if it is a reverse camera that does not have mirror imaging built into it, you can simply reverse the image so that what's on the left will indeed be on the left when you're looking in the front. And the next is the special icon. When you select that, you can turn your demo mode on and off. You can also memorize all of your audio settings. You can then recall the settings if you ever make changes or clear them out completely. Also, under the software information, 
If you ever need to see what the serial number of the unit is, you can access it right there. Also the application version number. Open source licenses information and initialize would return the unit back to its factory default state. Next section will be the Bluetooth. In the Bluetooth section, you can simply turn Bluetooth on and off. This is also where, in the telephone setup menu, you'd be able to go in and make fine-tune adjustments, like echo cancellation, noise reduction levels. For different environments and different vehicles, this is where you'd make those adjustment settings. Next section would be the security. In this section, the SI, the security indicator, would just be this little red light right here that would turn that on and off for it to be flashing when the unit itself is di disconnected from accessory power. So when you take the keys out of the car and you leave, if you want the red light to be flashing, you turn the security indicator on. If you don't like it flashing, just go ahead and turn it off. And on the navigation models, like this specific unit, the DNX573S, this will allow you to go in and adjust the volume of the voice guidance in the navigation system itself. So there it is, the setup menu. So as always, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.